when we uh, started off this item, we made a guess about what might happen with the reactions in this fix x being with a load in the middle and constant EI elastic linear behavior. And we, we said, well, we assumed just based on symmetry that the two reactions, shear reactions, would be splitting the load, P over 2 in each end. And then we weren't so certain about how to proceed with the moments, but we, in effect, inserted a hinge into the middle and then used that shear at the end of basically a little cantilever segment to come up with what we thought the moment values might be, and that would be the V over, or V time, which was P over 2 times the L over 2, and that's what gave us the PL over 4, and said, well, the real moment's going to be less than that. We're not quite sure what's going to happen. It's going to take that moment diagram that would have gone with uh, the negative PL over 4, which would have been shifted downwards and had 0 at the center, and it's going to get all shifted up somehow. And that was about as far as we uh, were willing to go with it. And so there was a little bit of contradiction between what the moment diagram was that we're guessing compared to what would be consistent with what we had basically done, which is insert that hinge. Well, we came back in and we said, okay, let's do the theoretical model. And we applied our flexibility model in this case to then come up with estimates of the reactions of P plus P over 2 and a minus PL over 8. Now, the pos positive and negative go with the sign convention that we chose, that that translation or shear direction was positive upwards and clockwise on the right hand side for number two. So that means that we've got this load P reaction going up on either side, P over two here, so clearly P over two on the other side. And then this negative means that physically that PL over eight is now acting in a counterclockwise fashion on the right. In order for equilibrium to be true, go do the work, and you find out the moment on the other side will also be PL over 8. And in our moment diagram sign convention, both of those would be frowny face or concave down effectively, so therefore negative moments, just like we're anticipating down here. So minus PL over 8, minus PL over 8. The shear diagram looks the same. We have P over 2 times L over 2, or PL over 4 for the net change as we go from the left edge to the uh, midpoint. And so that net there will also be a now a positive PL over 8. And our inflection points then will end up being at the quarter points in our beam. So if we were to come along and then sketch out the deflected shape, it's going to be much as we had guessed that it probably should be, that we get this little symmetric portion, that smiley face here at the mid part, and then we've got to turn that around and trying to make things tangent and smooth in all the locations that it's supposed to. I've got this a little tight, a little hard to get this in here, and there's our final deflected shape that, um, or estimate of it. Again, note that what happens here is that these redundant reactions, in effect, we could start off with a baseline down here and it changes. We know that a moment diagram, a simply supported beam, would look like this triangle and with a max moment of PL over 4 and the end moments, these PL over 8s, then shift that baseline down such that we get this uh, region of negative or hogging curvature and then that region of positive there. All right, so and that's also kind of interesting note that we had sort of estimated a max PL over 4 that on the ends now is 50 percent less and same thing is going to be true actually a simply supported beam version of this the max moment of PL over 4 went down by 50 percent to the PL over 8. And let's just make sure we make this very clear. There's your answer is on that side.